Hi, I'm Dale Rimsberg, AMJ instructor team member. Craig belays are one of the most uh, sought after skills. It takes a lot of practice to give a soft catch and provide a dynamic, uh, comfortable belay while somebody's climbing a sport climb. We're here at Red Rock today on a beautiful climb called Yak Crack. And I'm working with Elena Aaron, certified rock guide, as she gets warmed up and projects some harder roots here on the right. And I'm gonna demonstrate how to provide a good belay with a Grigri, move around and give her everything she needs so she can focus purely on the climbing up there. Virtually all the time, I'm trying to close the system in the backside of my climbing rope. This will prevent a ton of accidents out there at the crag of the, of the uh, getting lowered off the end of the rope if you're not paying attention and the climb up and down is longer than the length of your climbing rope. A nice, clean, tight knot with plenty of tail will prevent a lot of accidents at the crag. As Elena gets prepared to climb and gets her shoes on, I'm gonna stack the rope here just so it's in a nice spot that helps me provide a good belay and make sure I don't have any twists or knots come up to my belay device while I'm climbing and I accidentally short rope her. All right, before Elena launches up on the climb, I'm just gonna make sure she's tied in good, harness looks good, my harness looks good, Grigory's fed properly, we're good to go. Awesome. Belay's on. Um, belay and climbing. Climb on, have fun. All right, I, I got you. Thank you. So as she gets up to that first pre-clipped draw, I'm just trying to keep the most of the slack out of the system, not encumber her climbing. Move in, keep this rope out of her feet. Down close to the ground is when your climber is most vulnerable. And so I'm playing really good attention here. Nice, Elena. When you're belaying with an assisted braking device, in this case the Grigri, one of the tricks or one of the mysteries that a lot of climbers have to figure out is how to feed slack out quickly when somebody's clipping the quick draw or when they're moving quick line easy terrain and not taking the brake hand off. So the motion that works really well while they're just climbing is just your standard belay. And I can adjust my body in to give them a little extra slack, take some slack out as needed. So don't forget you can be dynamic and your body can move around to help take slack out of the system or into the system if they need just a little bit of movement in combination with feeding rope in the traditional way. Now, when Elena's up there clipping in a difficult spot and she pulls slack quickly, that's where you have to overcome the, the lever on the Grigri and feed it out quickly. To feed slack quickly, you wanna come in with a loop in the rope and put your index finger under this little loop on the Grigri, grab the camming unit to overcome it while you're pulling slack, and that way you can pull slack out quickly while still having the brake hand on. That way if Elena falls during the clip, I can go right into the braking position and catch her. What you don't wanna do is take your brake hand off and start feeding slack out like this. That, what happens if she falls and your reaction is to brake the rope can just feed out and Elena can hit the ground. Pretty common accident out there in the climbing world. As Elena's moving up the climb, I'm really trying to gauge how much slack she needs at any given moment. She's pretty close to the draw right now, so I don't need a whole lot of slack out because she's basically above her. As she starts to get above it, I'm trying to do the math of how far I want her to fall to give her a nice soft catch. As she gets higher and higher above the quick draw, I don't need that much slack out because she already has the slack up there with her. So it's always a constant determination of what's gonna make a good, a good uh, catch. So oftentimes just a nice loop or a nice little belly of slack like this is gonna help provide a nice soft catch for your climber. And that way they don't get slammed into the rock and break an ankle or hurt themselves. One of the things I see all the time is people blame too far away from the first piece or the first quick draw. What's gonna happen here is 
I'm going to get pulled in no matter what if Elena falls, and, and it's going to be a big fall for her that she doesn't need to take, and the chance of me getting drug across the rock or hurting myself uh, goes up. So you really want to be positioned down and underneath that first piece so that I can just be pulled up into the air. Uh, notice I got shoes on here. I'm not playing barefoot so I don't break a toe or something like that if I get pulled into the rock, and I can move around more quickly to get in position to provide her the best catch at any given time. You know, as a heavier person, I need to really pay attention to how much slack's out and jump into it and move into it to provide that soft catch. If I was up there climbing and Elena's blaming me, she doesn't have to give me as much slack because I'm gonna automatically pull her up into the air no matter what, so it might even be more difficult for her to blame me because if she has too much slack out, she's going to get pulled way up into the first quick draw potentially. Okay, Dale, climbing. The Grigri specifically is a right-handed blade device. It works best if you're going to blade with your right hand and feed slack out with the left hand. It is worth being aware on the market of new devices that are coming out. There's always technology changing, uh, but my go-to is the Grigri. It's been on the market for well over 20 years and it works great.